lot of people has been talking about Dwayne Wade and his son. His son now wants to be addressed by the name. Zaya says that is he's not a he anymore. He is a girl, a 12 year old girl. And a lot of people were very shocked by this. A lot of people had commentary about it and oh, I have some commentary about it, but my commentary, I'm going to save it for my website because I really want to point some things out that I really can't point out here about Mr. Dwayne Wade, but Boosie weighed in on this situation with Dwayne Wade and his, you know, son now being called Zaya. But let me go ahead and play the clip of Boosie and let you hear exactly what he had to say. I got to say something about this shit, bro. Dwayne Wade, you gone too fucking far, dog. That is a male, a 12 year old. At 12, they don't even know they don't even know what they next meal gonna be. They don't eat, they don't have shit figured out yet. He might meet a, a, a woman, anything at 16 and fall in love with her. But his dick be gone, how he gonna? Like, bro, that's, it's, it's, you going too far, dog. Don't cut his dick off, bro. Like, bro, for real. If he gonna be gay, let him be gay. But don't cut his dick off, bro. Like, don't address him as a woman, dog. He's 12 years old. He don't, he's not, he's not up there yet. He, he hasn't made his final decisions yet. Don't cut his fucking dick off, Dwayne Wade, bro. You fucking tripping, dog. You tripping, dog. You tripping, dog. Now what Boosie stated is what a lot of people have been saying. They may not say it in the way Boosie is saying it, of course, but there are people, there's definitely other men <laughs> They have spoken on this matter and most of them are saying what is wrong with Dwayne Wade, not so much the child Dwayne Wade, but it goes a little deeper than Dwayne Wade. It goes all the way back. If you remember brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, it goes back to the presidency of Barack Hussein Obama. And every time something will go on within the alphabet community, he was making calls. He didn't make calls to any of us in the black community when we do great things. But when it comes to that, then he's making calls. You remember he put the uh, rainbow flag on the white house. Um, he made that a priority of his presidency, but he didn't make the black community a priority at all in his presidency. But we were the ones that canvassed for him. We were the ones that was trying to get him as the first black president to be elected. But this is what his legacy has been. And ever since Barack Hussein Obama uh, gave them a wide berth to do the things that they're doing now, there is a major push from what all of us see upon children. And that's when most of us say, okay, enough is enough. Let children be children. When you're an adult, you do whatever you want as an adult. Now he's speaking on the situation with the alphabets, with those gender reassignment surgeries. And I think that should not even be legal unless you choose to do that at 18 years old is your life, your body, do what you want. It has nothing to do with me per se. As long as you're not trying to push something on my child or push something on me, you can do whatever you do with your life. But that's more so what Boosie is getting at with this situation. Gender assignment surgery should not be legal for children. They had a father that actually took his son away from the mother by court order because the mother was trying to get the son gender reassignment surgery and the father in Texas, um, he would do what most fathers would do in that situation. The father had a son and that's what he's going to have. Okay. I remember growing up that the things that's allowed today would be never tolerated. Boys were boys, girls were girls and we respect them as such. I call America Babylon. Everything that is wrong is right. And everything is right is wrong. Every perversion, every whatever happens right here in this nation. And you wonder why our society is going to hell in a handbasket. It has nothing to do with Dwayne Wade and his situation. It's a bigger picture than that. It is an agenda. And that agenda is to get pedophilia here. That's what it is. That's why they keep pressing upon children and making an issue with children. And they keep going younger and younger and younger 
with these children. But if you understand European history, pedophilia was huge in European history. If you just do a little research on that, but the situation with Boosie, a lot of people have been saying those things. He's just the only one came out publicly because most people don't want to come out publicly in his position because they will be attacked. They will have a lot of backlash to that. Um, you can't say nothing, but you know, you could call black people the N word. Black people can be killed by the police and people could mock the death of people like Kobe Bryant. And that's more acceptable to get away with that. Then people come by and even justify some of that. But when it comes to situations like this and what Boosie's talking about, Oh, don't you dare say nothing about that. Well, you know, Boosie has freedom of speech, just like anyone else has freedom of speech in this nation. And he just expressed his opinion on that more so toward Dwayne Wade. And that's where the message was going toward. Now, I don't know if that's something that Dwayne Wade said that was about to happen, gender reassignment surgery, but they have cases where children has gotten that done. Now, my thing is like what Boosie said, that's a 12 year old. Children go through so many different things in their life. They really do. And for me, I would like to sit down with Dwayne Wade and even try to wrap my mind or how did he even get to this point? Because, you know, for me, just doing the research, what happened to your son? What happened? Because most people who go down that route had some sort of episode of molestation. So was it that, what was it? You know, I, I just, cause I don't know. I'm not going to speak on that, but what Boosie said stated, a lot of people are already saying that. I mean, like for real, it's, it's like, we have to talk about these issues up front for what it is. Of course, not calling names and not being disrespectful, but America is Babylon brothers, sisters is Babylon. This is why, you know, when I go to the continent of Africa, you don't see these things going around, because that's not going to be tolerated in Africa. And it, no, that is not going to be tolerated. You have a traditional society, beautiful traditional society. That's why I tell my brothers and sisters on the continent, don't you let these people come in there with that mess to your country. You think you got problems, you really going to have problems. And the, the, the elites want to bring that mess into Africa because they want to depopulate the continent. That's what they want because they want to take it over. Well, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation with Boosie and his response to Dwayne Wade and some of his parenting decisions as of late. But Dwayne Wade and what Boosie has to say, Boosie is just responding just how a lot of brothers would think on this situation. Brothers who have sons, brothers, you know, who maybe don't have sons and would love to have a son. You know, I mean, he's speaking more so, from that aspect, because in the community, you know, we didn't have these issues and problems until after desegregation.